Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the answering your assumptions video. I've been seeing this going around YouTube and I thought it would be fun. Um, I was a little bit intimidated to do it, but all of you guys were actually super nice. So I'm excited to read the assumptions and answer whether or not they are true. I've also got my glass of rosé. So this is kind of a wine chat style because I might need some wine to answer some of these assumptions. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. But the very first one says that you don't want to go back to work in an office. I don't blame you. Um, very true, 100% <laughs> true. I did work in an office for three years, loved it, but I can't picture myself going back to working in an office. The next one, red wine over white wine, cheers, cheers, and definitely red over white. Tonight is rosé, but I am, um, I like all wines, but I do prefer red the most. The next one, that you and I would be besties. Yes, we would, Debbie, I love that. Um, next, you do most of the work when it comes to taking care of your two babies. Um, that's 100% true, and I hate this assumption because it makes it look like bad for David, my husband, but it's because I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm with them 24-7 and he's only with them for one hour a night when he gets home from work and then the weekends. So obviously I do most of the work when it comes to taking care of them because I'm with them the majority of the time. I will say when he is home, he is like dad of the year. He is wonderful with them and he takes such good care of them and always like right now I can be down here filming and he's always like playing with them and taking care of them for me. Um, well, not for me because they're both of our kids, but you know what I mean. Um, the next one says, you've always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. That is so not true, actually. I never thought I would want to be a stay-at-home mom. The only reason I am a stay-at-home mom is because um, I wasn't going to be making that much money working and paying for daycare. So it just didn't make sense for me to keep working. Um, so that's pretty much the main reason I am a stay-at-home mom. Now that I am, I absolutely love it. I mean, I've created an entire YouTube channel based on motherhood, so it's crazy how it's just, it changes, but no, I never pictured myself being a stay-at-home mom. In fact, I never even was one of the those girls that always knew they wanted to have kids. David and I didn't know we wanted to have kids until we got pregnant. <laughs> the next assumption is you want more kids. Um. Maybe, I'm just not sure, I think so. I think I do want one more, um, but we're not like sold on it yet. Um, that your hair is perfect and you have not experienced postpartum hair loss. That's a funny one. My hair, thank you, it has actually been looking really good lately. I've been straightening it um, and I got, I've been using the Cenogens hair care line and it's really, really good. It's been like making my hair super long and healthy, but I have just started losing my hair postpartum. So I am like getting out of the shower and getting the hair loss. Um, and I don't think my hair is perfect at all, but thank you so much. Um, the next one, you love to party. Yes, I clearly love to party. Um, before we had kids, we always went on vacations. We went to Las Vegas like twice a year. We always were like party animals, I guess. And it's really nice that we were able to like get that out of our system and then settle down and have kids. But yes, we still like to party on occasion too. Um, you have your life together. No, I don't know, not really. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of winging it, honestly. So the next one, you love shopping. Yes, 100% love shopping. If you watch any of my videos, you know I love shopping. The next one says you're a cool and pretty chill person. I feel like I am a pretty chill person. Um, this one, this is my best friend Haley, organized, loves to shop, loves to drink wine and dance, loves games, and best friend is Haley. Yes, I do love games. I love crossword puzzles, board games, any kind of games like that. Um, next one, I don't mean this mean at all if it comes across that way, that you are well off like you have a lot of money. Um, I feel like it depends, like money is, um, it just depends on like where you live, how you, I don't know, I don't know how to say that, but like um, I think money is like perceived, I guess. So no, that I don't, I don't know what I'm saying, you guys. Okay, basically we live in the middle of Missouri in a small town. If we lived in New York or California or even like another like city or state, 
um, we probably would not live, I know we would not live in this um, size of a home. And I think it just depends on like your location and like the salary there and like just different stuff. There's like so many factors. So I feel like where we live right now and with our jobs, we're comfortable. Um, I guess that's the only way to answer it. Okay, you seem like the perfect mom BFF. Wine, walks, brunch, movies, gym, all day, every day. Yes, <laughs> those are all my favorite things. I love to go out to eat um, after the gym. I love shopping, brunch, like all that good stuff. Um, wine, clearly. The next one says that working out comes easy to you. I think so. Now it does. It definitely didn't at first. I don't think it ever comes easy to anyone in the beginning, but as you progress and get better at it, you start to crave it and it becomes like second nature to work out. Um, I think what really did me in was when I started my career and I had um, a gym at my, at, I worked at a corporate office. We had a gym there. And so everybody on their lunch break went and worked out during their lunch break. And we all worked out together and we all had like goals to hit and like it was really fun environment. And that's what really like got me into working out. And after that, after I left and had my baby, like I had to get back into working out again because I missed it so much because I did it like every day for three years when I was working. And so I think if you find the right motivation and you just stick to it, like maybe just go to the gym for two weeks straight and see how you feel. Like once you start getting into the habit of it, it becomes second nature and it is easy. Okay. Next one is that you make yourself care a top priority in your busy schedule. Yes, I do. I definitely try to make myself uh, feel and look presentable. And I don't think it's, it's not about looks. It's about making yourself feel happy. So if putting on a little bit of tinted moisturizer, lip gloss, and mascara, that's my go-to, um, makes you feel better, then do it. Because even if I'm not leaving the house, if I just put like those three things on and like a cute sweatshirt and leggings, I feel so much more productive. I feel better about myself. When I walk past myself in the mirror, I don't feel like, like otherwise I just feel gross. If my face isn't clean, if I like don't have like anything on my face or my hair is really greasy, like all that stuff just like makes you feel bad and it makes you feel like unproductive personally and makes me like just want to like go back to bed. So I always try to get myself put together. I do like to take a lot of time into getting ready. It's kind of like my me time. Like I usually have like a nice hot cup of coffee. I turn on some YouTube while the boys are napping and I kind of just like will do my makeup for fun. So I think that that's like, I don't know, that's something that I really enjoy doing. Okay. You are very easygoing. I think I already said that one, um, or another one similar, so yes, I am. The next one says, I assume you like the nicer things but are super down to earth. <laughs> That's like super true. Um, I do like really, like I like high end, um, like some things, I don't know, it's weird. Like I I shop at like Walmart and buy clothes at, you know, wherever, um, but I do have like my bracelets and like certain things that like mean a lot to me that are like higher end, nicer items that I really like like to get um, for special occasions. So I do like nice things, um, but I am like super down to earth and super chill. Like I don't need nice things, but it is kind of fun to have like certain valuable like possessions that you like really wanted. And it is not, I'm not materialistic, but I'm just saying like, you know, if you want something nice and you work hard for it and you're going to like wear it all the time or use it all the time, I totally think that it's worth it because you only live once and I love to have like a little bit of nice things every once in a while. Next one, you've always wanted many kids. No. Um, you are super sweet and genuine person that gets along well with others and a good friend. I think so. Um, I think I'm pretty easygoing and I get along with a lot of people. Um, the next one, you grew up in a large city. I did. I grew up in St. Louis, so very large city and I mean, we were in the suburbs. We weren't like downtown, but yeah. Um, you don't like onions. I actually like onions, so that one's wrong. You weren't athletic in high school. No, I wasn't. I was a dancer, but that's like, I don't know, is that athletic? I wasn't really like, I was not like athletic, like with like basketballs or anything like that. Like I was really, really bad at that kind of stuff, like sports, but I was a dancer. You want you wanted a large family, but don't anymore. 
not true. I definitely did not want a large family. Um, and right now, perfectly happy with two. The most I would ever have would be three. You want more kids. A lot of these are about kids. A lot of these are about kids, money, and wine. The next one, you are super sweet and fun and your life looks like a dream. <laughs> Thank you. I think everyone has their moments. Obviously we share like the best things on social media. So my life is not a dream and I always compare myself, which I know you're not supposed to, but I do compare myself to other like Instagrammers and stuff and like watch all their stuff and I'm like, dang, like they really have their stuff together and like their house looks clean and their pictures are perfect and um, that's not me and I hope that I don't come across that way because I'm not like that. Like every time I post a picture, I'm like, ugh, this isn't that great of a photo, but you know what? I don't want to post a picture today. Um, like I don't have those, what are they called? Not filters. What is everyone? Presets. Like I can't, I can't keep up with all this like stuff. So no, my life is not like some like perfect dream. It's just normal average life. Um, but it's very, very happy. And I do think like we're really, really blessed. Oh, this is a good one. You once posted a video about being broke and crying, and now it's like you're made of money. What happened? So, yes, I totally did post a video like that. If you guys have been following me for that long, first of all, thank you, Alexandra, for following me for three years. Um, gosh, yeah, that was a long time. Okay, so I think it was two years ago. This time of year, I posted a video. I had gone to Walmart. My card got declined and I was vlogging that day and I couldn't keep in my emotions and I just like started like ranting um, on my vlog about how like we didn't have any money and how like I don't know what I'm gonna do and I was really, really upset. Um, things have changed a lot since then. That was two years ago. Um, basically, I had just had Cal, so I had like a four month old baby. Um, so we had expenses from the hospital. We were, you know, obviously paying for a third person in our family now. Um, we had gone all out with the nursery. So we had a, spent a lot of money. Um, what else? Oh, I quit my job. So we were down to one income. Um, we had also just bought a second home that we were renting out and we did not have tenants for a few months, the first few months of it. So we hadn't had tenants yet. So we were paying a mortgage on that without any renters. Um, and then we had Christmas and then we had our uh, property taxes. We had a, so much stuff financially that had all built up like at once. And I wasn't, I wasn't like, I didn't budget yet at that point. So yeah, it was really bad. Um, now, two years later, I look at our bank account every Friday. I go through, I budget everything. Um, I also, I know like, um, what we like what we can spend what we can't spend i and it that just helps like if you are like if you start putting things in categories um on what you're spending it helps like it's a huge eye opener so that was like a big eye opener for me um just to kind of see like oh wow like i'm spending too much in this area or i need to cut back on our groceries this month or we shouldn't go out to eat this week stuff like that um another thing too is since then i've um started a lot of I don't know, businesses, I guess. Um, but I have a lot of different incomes now. I did a whole video on how to make money as a stay-at-home mom. Um, but you know, you guys know what I do. I do um, Plexus, I do Lipsense, I do Poshmark, I do YouTube, I do, um, we have that rental property, so I'm a property manager for that. So I do so many different things on the side now that have totally just like changed our financial status. And um, it's just been a real big blessing. And, um, <laughs> Even, I hate when people say this. I hate when people say, so first of all, I don't make that much money with YouTube, um, but I hate when people are like, oh, I'm on YouTube now and I make like more money than I did like when I was working. Like, no, I'm not about to say that. But I will say that when I was working um, and then I quit my job, if I was still working and I had to put both my kids in daycare, there's no way I would be making en enough money as I'm making now. So staying home and taking care of my kids and saving that money that I would have be, would be spending on daycare for them, um, I'm actually earning more money because I'm also doing like side hustles. So I'm making more money now than I would if I was working, if that makes sense. Um, and then lastly, um, two years uh, is a, like quite a, a long time. So David has been, you know, gradually making more and more money with his job. Like he's very, he, I'm so proud of him. He is just like really, really um, successful and smart and really good at what he does. So 
all of that combined, <laughs> I hope that's a good enough answer for you, but that is why um, it may have seemed like when I first kind of started off my YouTube journey that I was like, I don't know what we're gonna do financially, and now we are very like perfectly comfortable. Um, that's kind of why, it's just been a lot of just different stuff going on, but um, yeah, so if you have more questions about that, I don't know, I can answer them if you do. Okay, next one, I felt like that was like the biggest one that I wanted to address. Okay, the next one says, you would be super fun to party with. I feel like I would too. We should just have like a big party. Wouldn't that be so fun? Just like a big, like a, like a meetup, but just like have like a big party. That would be so fun. Okay, you are very organized. Okay, this is funny. So one person says, you are very organized and have a lot of patience. And like immediately after, another person said, you are a very impatient person. So, both opposites. Um, I don't know if I'm patient or not. I just, I go with the flow. I lose my patience sometimes, but usually it's like if I'm like, if it's been a whole day of that, then I'm like, oh, and I lose my patience. But normally I'm pretty like go with the flow and I do keep a lot of patience. Very organized. Yes, I am like the queen of organization. Um, when it comes to like anything like like finances, for example, um, scheduling, all that kind of stuff. I am so, so organized, and that's just always been a part of me, and I love being organized, but I'm not clean. Like, that's the weird part is, like, I'm not a clean person, but I'm very organized. The next one says that you could use a 12-hour nap just like me, stay-at-home mom life. Yes. Seriously, and it's so hard to nap. Like, people, like my um, husband took a nap today, except he said he couldn't fall asleep, and that's how I am. It's like, I... I don't even want to try to nap because I feel like as soon as I like fall asleep, something, someone's going to need me, something's going to happen, I'm going to have to wake up. So it's like not even worth it for me to take a nap ever unless I was like on vacation. That's the only time I would feel like comfortable and confident enough to take a nap. So another like 18 years of no naps and then uh, I can nap for 12 years. The next one says, you feel pressure by what other YouTube moms vlog yet you shouldn't with a heart. Um, that's super sweet. I feel like, I don't know if I feel pressure by what they vlog, um, but I do feel pressure like when I watch other YouTube mommies who I, I love, I have nothing against um, all the, well, I, obviously I watch the ones that I like, so I don't know if there's ones that I wouldn't like that I probably wouldn't watch, but all the girls that I watch, I love them. Um, my one thing though that I do stress about is like, I feel like other people's houses are cleaner and they're always like white and pristine and mine is like clearly like dark, um, dark woods. And when I see other vloggers that have like the, uh, what are those, the lashes, you know, the, um, lash extensions. I have falsies on right now because we were doing date night, but when they have like, they like wake up with like lash extensions on, they've got like hair extensions. They always like look really perfect and put together. It's super intimidating. Like then I wake up like rolling out of bed in my robe and I'm just like holding the camera up and I'm like trying to find some good lighting in the house. Like it is, it's intimidating. Um, but I don't want it get to me because I know like, yes, I have like almost 7,000 subscribers, thank you guys. Um, so I have like 7,000 subscribers compared to a lot of the girls that I watch that have hundreds of thousands. Um, I know that you guys are here for me and you like the realness of my channel, so like, I'm just gonna stick with it and go with the flow. Um, let's see, just a little bit left. Oh, just two left, okay, so the next one, oh gosh, is this 19 minutes? Oh. Okay, you are so efficient. Thank you. I feel like maybe, sure, yeah, I am. The last one says that you have a lot of disposable income, LOL. Um, uh, we, I don't know how to answer that one too. I feel like I kind of addressed the finances already, but um, like I, I budget things. Um, I make sure that we have enough to pay for what we need to um, bill wise and everything like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, we do, we spend a lot of money on just like going out to eat and, um, shopping and little things here and there, because I feel like, like it, I don't know. And I'm probably going to get hate for this because we should be saving more and more, but I do feel like you're only like you make, you spend your money you're going to make more. You're always going to make more money until you're like old and have to retire. And I just think that like you only live once and if, if stuff makes you happy that you like to go shop for and stuff like that, like do it. 
Um, plus, I feel like I don't waste at all. Like, anything that I purchase and I don't want, I usually sell it. I always donate if I can't sell, but I do try to sell stuff first. So I'm usually selling stuff for, like, almost the same price that I bought it for or a little bit less. So I'm usually, like, always still making money off of what I end up purchasing. So that is it for this <laughs> assumptions video. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit different style video and if you have any other like questions or assumptions leave them down below and I will respond to them and let me know if you guys liked this style. If you want to see more like this or like other like Q&A's and stuff like that let me know. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Something about you feels so special.